I'm Phil Helmuth, Jr. In our last lesson, we talked about the importance of understanding your table image. Now, we're going to show you how you can use your table image to your best advantage. Action! Dan Harrington is certainly one of the best poker players in the game today. And while his poker skills are undeniable, it's his ability to use his table image to his advantage that sets him apart from many other players in the game. First, let's look at his nickname. Action Dan is actually a joke, because Dan is widely considered to be one of the tightest players in the world. But is he really as tight as we think he is? No. Sure, he's not splashing around with any two cards, but Dan knows that his tight image makes it possible for him to steal pots much more easily than some of his looser opponents. And that's the key when it comes to using your image to your advantage. If your opponents think you're a tight player, they're going to give you more credit for having a strong hand when you play a pot, especially when you play it for a raise. If, on the other hand, your image is loose and maniacal, you're a maniac, your opponents are going to be much less likely to respect your bets. In the second maniacal case, your best play is to actually tighten up your game and wait for more premium hands where you can trap your opponents into overplaying their marginal hands and paying you off when you're actually holding something much better than they expect. Mike Matisau had an image, basically, of playing like a maniac. And he basically tightened up his game, and he was able to pick up a lot of free chips by not playing very many hands, because no one ever thinks he has anything. In short, the best way to leverage your image is to play against it. What did I say? If your opponents think you're tight, loosen up and bluff more often. If your opponents think you're loose, tighten up and wait for them to pay you off. Play against yourself, baby!